We're here with Sam Thardy. Sam, um, back in camp for Game 3. What's the feeling like? Um, yeah, it's feeling pretty good at the moment. Uh, just got into camp and uh, going to have a bit of fun with the kids in a second, but a uh, uh, little bit of a, a focused mentality at the moment. And uh, we, we, We're going to do everything we can to, to try and win this third game. Mal said it's all about pride now. Is that the way you guys are feeling? Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, it was, it was tough losing uh, the first two games and losing the series, but uh, you know we have to get a bit of pride back now in this third game and and and, you know, and hopefully get a victory in front of our uh, our home fans here. Has it been a tough one for you in particular because you weren't there for that first game and then having you know um, such a loss at game two? Yeah, uh, you know, disappointing uh, not playing in the first game, but. Uh, even more disappointed in losing a series. I haven't been a part of a losing series, but uh, it's something I have to cop in the chin now and uh, move on. Hopefully win this third game and then refocus and, and try and win the series next year. Um, obviously you've been there for a long while now and you have been a part of those winning sides. You know what it means to wear that jersey. What do you tell some of the younger guys now in the side coming into game three about keeping up that pride and passion? Oh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, uh, I think the boys know from even just watching it um, that, that that feeling and that, that pride is there when you put that jersey on. And um, you know, if putting that jersey is uh, not motivation enough for them, uh, they're playing the wrong sport. Well, at least I guess you've got some positives in there. Cooper's back. Um, are you surprised that he's come back so early? Yeah, I'd have to. Um, have a chat and see what his uh, special remedy was to, to make his bones heal uh, as fast as they have. But yeah, fantastic having him back. Um, he's such a big part of our team and uh, brings a lot of communication and a lot of organisation. So uh, he'll only help us uh, on the field. Also, Corey Parker, he's back. How much of a, um, of a good thing for the side is that? Yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's fantastic, it's, especially losing a, a player like Matt Scott. Uh, Corey Parker is one of those players who can, uh, you know, fill that void, can get through a lot of work in that front row position uh, if need be. But uh, yeah, he brings a lot to this Queensland team, and uh, it'd be good to see him back uh, in the maroon jersey. You mentioned Matt Scott's not here. Um, you also lost Chris McQueen um, just from this round as well, which is a bit disappointing for you. Yeah, there's been so many players go down uh, throughout this uh, Origin period, and. Um, you know, it just shows how tough it is. But um, yeah, Chris McQueen uh, unfortunately misses out. Uh, Matt Scott's out. Brent Tate as well. So uh, we will miss those players. Uh, but I'm sure the guys that are going to fill their positions are, are going to make them pr uh, proud. Those guys being Jacob Lilliman, Will Chambers getting their starting um, call up. Yeah, um, you know, I've, I've known Jake now for, for many, many years and it's always good playing uh, footy with him and, uh, and Will Chambers gets a, a chance and opportunity to, to show his skill and uh, has been uh, waiting for a little while now to, to get his chance and now he has it. What do you think those guys will bring to the side? Oh, I think, you know, especially someone like Willie will bring something, uh, some, some more enthusiasm. Um, and uh, Jake, uh, you know, he's just the, the good old reliable front row who goes forward all day. And um, another little fellow Bronco in there in Josh Maguire. Are you happy to see him come in at 18th Man? Yeah, good to have him in camp and good to have him a part of it. Uh, we had Ben Hunt, another young Broncos uh, player, a part of the, the second camp. And uh, now Josh gets his chance and opportunity to uh, not to show all the players, but you know, show the coaching staff as well that he's, he's ready for Origin football and they want to pick him next year. Uh, I'm sure that he'll uh, put his hand up. Great for the development of the Broncos kids as well. Yeah, it, it is good. Um, it, so it's, uh, it's good to see that uh, these young guys that have come through our, um, our, our juniors uh, are really showing some great potential.